All right, guys. Hey, this is Rich from Dad's World. I'm going to show you how to install a brush guard from a ranch hand on a 2017 and up F-250. Mine's a F-250 2022. There's a ranch hand right here. Comes in a big box, really packaged well when I took it out. And actually, this was bent. Looks like somebody had laid it up. I contacted the company I bought it through and uh, they gave me a discount of 160 bucks to keep it. And I simply had to just bend it back. Other than that, looks like they did a good job on the packaging. You know, you see it all around here and it's still got some stuff on it. I advise leaving it on there until you get it all the way on your vehicle. That way if it bumps into it, it does not dent your stuff. Also, you may want to lay some blankets out. That's what I will do on my vehicle. That way if it rubs the paint anyway while I'm doing the install, it will not uh, damage it. This is part of the instructions here. You're going to see. We're going to go through them step by step. Bear with me. You really should have two people to do this. I'm going to try to do most of it with one until I get a little hand later. Um, simply put, one of the first steps is we're going to have to take these off. There's bolts on here behind it. They pop out by pulling here. On both sides, we're going to have to make a cut, a vertical incision right in here on both sides. You can cut more away, but then you're going to have the bolt showing. That's going to be one of the prime places you put it to. I believe we have to make a small cut on each side down here. The instructions are going to tell us on each side of the wind. Uh, brace here. Um, you can do that with a little uh, oscillating uh, rotary tool, or you can do it with a, a, a knife. I mean, there's more ways to skin the cat than you want to admit. However, it won't be bad. We'll get through it. We're going to learn from it. Um, just the big little things here. Once again, your look, the finish is really nice. I have the one with sensors, that's the cutout right there. It is a ranch hand. I looked at a whole bunch of different versions and ratings. This just seems to be one of the oldest and strongest. It's 12 gauge steel versus 14. Um, they seem to back there, it's made in America. I just didn't see how I could go wrong. There are some different designs that I did like and I did think about in the same price point. I paid from stage three motors 814 for mine. Um, and that was shipped to me. And they did a good job, got it right to me. Once again, the only thing the problem was one of my beams here was bent. I simply bent it back. No big deal. Um, I didn't know by bending it if it was gonna have to be reinforced or re-welded, because it is a, a, a mount point, but it simply bending back and I got 160 bucks off. They won because they didn't have to take it back and get me another one. I won because I got 160 bucks back. Comes with packaging here. These are what's going to go under the truck. Simply put, pretty easy to see how this works. You're going to reuse some bolts. We'll go through it step by step. All right, guys, I'll bring you back in a minute. So here we are. These are the tools you need. An 18 millimeter seems to be what's on the directions cutting knife because you're going to need to cut on these or a rotary tool which I'll be using a tape measure to measure out exactly where the cuts are for here and under here you can never not find a use for a rubber mallet <laughs> probably won't have to use it I like to keep a couple extensions you can use a regular wrench or a socket uh, impact gun, which I'm going to use on portions of it just to make my life easier. Otherwise, you can use either of these. I have my rollout kit, obviously, for everything, but I believe all we need is the 18. But just in case, I have a full kit. And if you're going to use a cutting wheel, make sure you have these little guys for metal and plastic. I have a plastic one on here right now, and that's going to work real well on a version of a Dremel rotary tool, whatever you want to call it. I also always work with a light. I know there's a lot of light in here, but once I get under the truck, you never know. All right, I'll keep you on the next one. All right, guys, step one. So this air little bumper cover, it's actually a tow hook cover, but it's called a bumper cover in your instructions. You're gonna pop that off. How do you pop that off to get to these outer bolts? 
I'll show you on this side. I left one for you. Let me set this up so you guys can see. Let's see. What you're gonna do, you're gonna get your little fingers right in here and right in here. So I reach on the inside and you pop, see, just pop free. And pop there. This is a little harder pop. You've got to get your fingers under here. And pop off. And pop off. There you go, boys and girls. Pretty easy. Your look. We're going to be cutting some holes here. Just slots, basically. It's pretty easy. Not, uh, um, just one of those things that we'll have to do. That way it gives it more finished look. You can cut this whole thing off if you wanted to, but I'm just gonna cut a slot here. So I'm gonna leave these right here. These bolts in here. I was fooled. Instructions told me 19. These are, uh, let's see, 18. Um, not hard. I'm gonna use an impact gun to take them off. There's a little brace behind it. You don't want it to drop down. So be careful when you're doing it. Um, but we'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna cut some slots first. All right guys, so as you can see, I've already cut the one slot in this one for a final piece. I'm just getting a little head, that way I don't have to do it later. Uh, according to the directions, it says at two and one eighth and two and seven eighths. It doesn't have to be exact, guys, because it's gonna be covered up. You're gonna have a metal slot I'm going to show you to go through. I marked both of mine. I'm going to use a cutting wheel from the back side. It's just easier to cut it from that side. But what these are going to do before you mount this on, I will show you. So this will sit like this with the tow hook and the bolts will be covered up. And that slot, you have to give yourself a little play. You can get a little tighter, but you may have to adjust yours left or right a little bit. You need to play. You can always cut it after the fact. You can use a cutting knife if you need to, but it is much easier to do ahead of time, as you will see. Give me one second. Set up here. Get the camera so you guys can see. line here just so you guys can see let's see you guys it doesn't have to be perfect I'm pretty anal Tool. 
back side doesn't need to be clean. It's the front side. So that is the way to play. I think I'm gonna sit. I think I'm gonna cut this one a little bigger. I think I'm gonna match it up here. Most of this is covered up, so don't kill yourself and waste forever on it, okay? Being anal is awesome until you're sitting here forever screwing around, which is not cool. What I like to do is I walk over to it, try it out. Run the thing, make sure it slides around easy, which is more than enough. That's only a quarter inch steel over there. So it shouldn't be anything regard. I need to cut this line to the straight. I know there's different ways you can make it so it goes straight and easy, but. can go that's what I needed and when it's on there so I'll leave that to so I don't forget when I put it back on they have to go on prior to the install or you might forget about them I know that sounds crazy and say why would I but well we do all kinds of things all right next part all right guys we gotta cut some holes here in our air dam you see your bolts here this can give you a rough spot it's gonna go to the little bit inside of that. I measured, I just counted the indentions and it came off this. Uh, by the thing, it's been, you're supposed to go, it's gonna look like that on the back side. You're supposed to go on the back side and measure off 19 and 11 sixteenths to the inner and 21 and 11 sixteenths to the outer, um, one inch down and two inches deep. So 
notice I just drew one inch down. This is two inches deep. It's really only like this big, but I think it gives you a little play to go left, right, up, down to adjust it. Um, it's not a big deal to me. I'm just gonna cut it with a cutting wheel. Uh, I already cut this one out, as you can see. If I have to adjust, technically, by their measurement, it's telling me I gotta go over to here. I kept looking at it, and I swear the directions are wrong, so if I need to cut over, I'll cut over more, but I'm leaving that right now. And I'll do the same thing over here. If need be, I'll cut farther out, but by the way the alignment goes, and you see what I'm saying, it doesn't work like that, because this is the bar that's going in it. As you can see, there's the bolt holes. It's to the inner of that, about an inch. So this little beam has got to be the inner. So according to the directions, you got to cut farther. But I'm going to start in her. I can always cut more. Here we go. Take front row seat here. There we go. of it out it's not exactly straight but it's close and I'll clean it up with this cut knife is easier because it's, it's hard to get your wheel in everywhere and if you ever done it with a wheel it melts plastic first cutting it to a certain point so we're cleaning it up here and then I'll clean the rough ends crap off and we'll cut it cleaner and like I said nobody's gonna see this you got a freaking bar through it I have to get down on the ground just to really view it. I put my light on here for you trying to make it easier to see. And like I said guys, I may have to cut it more. They're the factory, they know more than me. But it just didn't seem right by their measurement, so I'd rather take my time. Now to get it close. If we have to clean it, you can use a brush to brush it. Me personally, this is good enough for me. I just outlined it with a magic marker. Cut it out, went from there. It's gonna go to let those bars, take our connector pieces back here. Like I said, these are the outer ones you're gonna be going to. Those, I believe, off the top of my head, are 19 millimeters. Uh, three quarters fits on there too, but it's, I believe, 19 millimeters. You're gonna loosen those one at a time. So that's the next part, guys. So I'm under the truck, and it says we're supposed to remove this bracket these are the two bolts it says it's an 18 millimeter however there's two more over here obviously you have to take those out to get it off I was surprised you had to take it off but for their mount that's what they want according to directions and according to directions believe it or not that is step one and as you can see they got it pointed to those two bolts and this is it right here so we will find out in one second here we go get the camera so you can see it let's see how we're going to do this I'm trying to make it so you guys can see how easy they come off or don't <laughs> get to 
one of them it looks like. Not both of them. With my ratchet here. Have no idea I got to both of them. Side here, guys. I can get my damn hand in there. Cool. There it is. See what this is? This is like a nut holder. And put these back just in case until I get further steps. I don't think I have to reuse it. They give me bolts. But we want to make sure, guys. I always say to be safe than sorry. don't know if it's going to want me to take the other side off. It doesn't say to. It's the weirdest part, but it says if there are brackets mounted at the bottom of the frame, remove the bracket by removing both 18 millimeter nuts. There's two of them. And bolts. Well, obviously there's some on each side, guys, so I can't get to it without both sides going on. So, let's see if we can get in here. Definitely don't know if I can get my gun in here. Nope. We're gonna have to get a socket wrench here. Hold on a second. I guess I'll put it back if so. Hopefully, you guys can see. This is kind of a pain in the ass. <laughs> Second, guys. Uh, hopefully, I don't need the damn breaker bar for this. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see. Ooh. They're snug, guys. But, be able to get it you know what it does. I can see myself doing this. I'm putting a towel here just so I know this is pain on the back side and ever since it gives you crap I do. So.
Nope. Both not. Well, that's a pain in the butt. mess with these two bolts right here the directions say they're an 18 millimeter they are not on a 2022 at least they are a 19 millimeter this is 17 to 22 so you have to try it out mine's a 19 millimeter i'm using an impact you can use a wrench whatever makes your life easier the impact's mine you need to take these off there's a little catch behind here that holds these bolts, you catch it with your finger. There you go. Like so. Put your bolts back, just in case you need it. I doubt you do, but you never know. All right, give me a minute. So under here, it had said to remove these brackets, okay? It really gives poor directions. Um, I wanted to see, I took one bracket off that side, and I left this one. Now it's gonna create a little more work, but it might save you guys some time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can leave the brackets. Um, it won't hurt anything, just give me more, more reinforcement on my air dam here. I think that's all they really do if you wanna know the truth, but I have no idea. Um, however, these holes right here, this, it might push them just a you know a quarter inch out and might not align with the thing. I can't tell that till I lift it up put it on and try to bolt it in. I may have to take this one off. So I'm gonna leave that one off. I'll have to, uh, and put it on the way. It also makes you reuse those original bracket bolts. It gives very poor directions, okay? Um, it does not say to use a washer. However, there's enough washers that I can do it. I can't put a washer if I'm leaving this on. It takes up too much space. The other side, I'm gonna try to use the washers. And I'll show you what I mean here. This one is off, same thing. I had to push those little kind of crappy bolts that come with it. You see them right there, I got them pushed through. 
they're a pain in the butt. You gotta take them up in here and put them in there. But I'm gonna try to show this as I do it. I have to bear with me. All right, let's get my bracket here. Here's your bracket. You see what I mean by this. Keep your fingers on the bolt. That's a real pain in the butt. And we got these damn wire. So what happens is they're in the way. My big arm's probably blocking you, but see, you have to reroute these wires. See them right here? pain in the butt. I'm turning mine up and see if I can just do that or do it anything else and I'll deal with it afterwards but I got the snips under here just in case. Um, you're also going to need to use the two and one fourth bolts on the front once, keyword, once it gets going. Do not tighten them all the way. They say you're not supposed to tighten these all the way either so not in the direction that really like I said, it poorly illustrates. Oh, boy, this is ah, I dropped the thing out. See what I mean about how you get these bolts? This thing falls out on you, and then you have to use your fingers. And it's a pain in the butt to get in the frame of the truck. If I can get it back. Boy, it's a pain. Yeah, I almost have to line the darn things up. We're good. Yeah, you see why I don't want to do this after the fact. You gotta get one, and then you use your fingers to spin it. I mean, it's hard. And then you have to keep pressure. So I said this little guy is in my way. It is definitely in my way. But we can reroute that and zip tie it very easily. Another place bracket back in here you get to work hopefully ah got it so i was able to push them out of the way now i have enough room to put uh hand me some washers washer comes with these washers i'm assuming that they're meant for this but the directions once again does not tell you anything oh yeah, let's put these on one at a time. Make life a little easier so we don't lose our stuff, guys. Boy, what a pain in the butt. Let me get one bolt on. hold it. I don't know about you guys, but I only got one, one set of hands. So it's a pain in the butt. Now, some of you guys may tell me you don't need the washer here. I don't know. I usually like to use a washer anywhere I can. That's why I didn't like I'm guessing we have to have this bracket off, but I like all the protection I can have, so if I can leave it, I will. It's made to come with it for a reason, guys. work on tightening it. It's a real tight spot. Really tight. So bear with me. Like I said, I think you're supposed to leave it loose. Um, I'm only saying that when I couldn't find a, a ranch hand one. What I found was uh, other videos on different ones. They're not exactly like this. So what you have to do is just Take pieces and wonder. But they left all these kind of thing brackets, their versions of them loose until they got the bumper on to tighten it up one direction or another. Ranch hand does not tell you to do that. That doesn't mean you need to, so I'm just gonna snug them a little bit. Just so they don't fall off. And what you need to do, put that handy towel in here. And then, so 
Sorry guys, not getting a great view. Try to move this up. The whole point of the towel is so you don't beat your paint up. One. All I'm doing is snugging, since, especially since I don't know if I'm gonna have to come back out and tighten this after the fact or take it off. did as we got it kind of snug I can probably loosen them a tiny bit just so I can play, have some play here so when the bar comes through it hooks up to this but I think you're supposed to leave a little play and then tighten them out to the fat at least that's how other mechanics would work um, don't know directions don't say we'll find out soon I'll tell you after I do it so you may want to put a blanket I'm getting ready to line it up and put it in. I just did a trial run. My wife helped me. I'm using a jack in the center to balance it. What I found out is, mind you, I still have the brace on this side and not on this side, but it looks like I have to cut about a quarter inch more on this one in. It's surprising because they're about the same measurement, but uh, no matter what, I gotta do it and then I'll find out if I can use the brace in there or not. Stand by, I'll show you afterwards. All right, guys, these two bolts and those two bolts, that's, make sure you leave them loose. And I tell you that because they're kind of a pain in the butt to put on. Um, the air dam, I was right. The inner portions, you can see where it fastens. I had to kind of jar this a little bit to get this bolt in, but it was fine. The cut's fine. Um, those bolts up there at the top are a pain in the butt. I did this mostly by myself. My wife was trying to help me. You can do it by yourself with a jack. Same thing over here. I ended up taking the brace off. They were, I guess, right. I think you could have made it work, but I took them off. As per the directions, the directions are very poor, guys. Very, very, very poor. But we got it on. tight it is that's why it's not going in there stand by all right we got that in last part snapped in pretty good it looks good and pull this hood down to give you an idea the sides measure it up about right looks good there i'll move the truck and take a picture of it outside port rains all right guys this is the final part it looks good it's tough to put on by yourself mainly my wife helped me the best she could 
two guys should be able to fly through it pretty quick. If you look under here, the cuts were pretty close. They're not perfect. You could get them tighter. To me, I don't care because, well, quite frankly, nobody sees it. So, but it looks good. I just started it up. The sensors work fine. I didn't have any hits. You can make these closer if you want to. You see, I'm fine with it. I had to cut this one a little after. Better to cut it more to the inside to the tow hook than the outside. Outside covers the bolts. It tells you different, but me personally, I cut it inside. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll post all the parts, one, two, three, four, and five. Good luck, guys.